And now we have a nice looking hilly landscape. In the previous video we created this terrible looking landscape, but in this video we will make it look appealing using pearly noise. Let's go! Now we just take random heights in some range to generate our terrain, but it looks ugly. So to make it more beautiful we can use pearly noise. That's how pearly noise looks like. Let's say each pixel is the point of our landscape. And the wider the pixel, the higher will be the point. For example, in this area there will be a mountain. And in this area there will be a field. And that's basically how it works. Let's implement this in code. This function takes coordinates of a point and returns its height. So we need to pass x and y variables. And I want to print our height value on the screen. So I will promote all this code to a variable and use add on screen debug message function. Also, let's go to the ash file and remove that min and that max variables because we don't need them anymore. Go to Unreal, run live coding, hit play. And as you can see, our Z value is always zero, so nothing works. This happens because Perl noise function returns a value between 0 and 1 and because for integers Perl noise always returns the same value. Let's fix these issues. So firstly we need to create a new variable called Z multiplier and multiply our function result by this value. Secondly we have to add 0.1 to the function parameters so they are not integers. Save everything, back to Unreal. I will set Z multiplier to 1000, X and Y size to 100, hit play. And now we have different heights, but our terrain is very rough. And if we for example want to create smooth hills, this result won't be suitable for us. So why the terrain is so rough? Let me show. You see two Perlin noises, but the one on the left has a scale of 1 and the one on the right has a scale of 0.1. Because our terrain also has the scale of 1, heights of vertices are very different, as you can see on the left image. So to solve this issue, we need to decrease the scale. Let's go back to our code. Now we have to create a new variable called noise scale. Then inside Perlin noise 2 d function we need to multiply x and y variables by this value. Save everything. Return to the engine. Run live coding. Set noise scale to 0.1 for example. Hit play. And now we have a nice looking hilly landscape. Also if I set noise scale to 0.01 for example and hit play we will get a much smoother landscape check out the next episode and thank you for watching